Will watching this review of Cedar Rapids save you 90 minutes of lifetime that you'll never get back? Or will you be attracted to it like a fat kid in a pile of candy? <laughs> now, whoa, don't get excited. Don't leave. Don't leave. This Jiminy, this is me. It's just me. Jiminy Critic. Got the I'll take the glass off. I don't want to scare you away. Jiminy Critic here. We're here today to talk about the new comedy movie, Cedar Rapids, starring new Hollywood go-to nerd guy, Ed Helms. Now, you know Ed Helms. He was the guy here a couple years back, played the nerdy, uh, beaten-down dentist in the movie The Hangover. He's been a few years now on the television, hit television show, The Office is one of the nerdy office guys. Well, he's here in this particular movie, Cedar Rapids, playing Tim Lippy, a guy who has lived in Brown Valley, Iowa, all of his life, and actually, as far as we can tell from the movie, never has left the town of Brown Valley, and now he works as an adult male in the uh, insurance business. Perfect setting for this town. Well, lo and behold, Tim gets an opportunity of a lifetime in the insurance industry because uh, he is asked by his boss one year to go to the yearly convention for insurance salesmen and companies in Cedar Rapids, thus the name of the movie, uh, Iowa, and this is big time excitement for Mr. Lippy. Let me explain. Uh, he goes there, he gets sent to the convention, and this is going to be the new world of hotels and the sights and the smells and the sounds of the big city. Cedar Rapids are really going to be an enticement to him having never done these kind of things before. So you can imagine where this R-rated comedy is going to go. Well, when he gets there, he meets the likes of an Isaiah Wilkes Jr., who's a funny guy in the movie. Uh, Ann Hash is also in this movie. You've got John C. Riley, always good in comedy movies, who plays the, I'll just call him the ne'er-do-well. <laughs> and he was told by his boss specifically, now you avoid that guy when you get to the convention. Lo and behold, what does he find out? He ends up having to room at the hotel with the worst guy at the convention. So here we have this innocent, never has been anywhere, done anything kind of guy with all sorts of seasoned insurance salesman vets that love to go to these conventions and have a good time. You mix that all up in the shaker and the salad bowl and what do you get? Everything happens everywhere. A lot of comedy, a lot of funny situations of him getting himself into trouble and how does he get himself out of trouble? Does his company, Brown Star Insurance, win the coveted two diamond award, which his boss said that he needs to win for the company or go pick up for the company and his example and great lifestyle and insurance selling abilities are one of those things that's supposed to help win that award. Will they win the award? Will he totally live a life of decadence during the convention or will he help straighten up these other folks who are the convention professionals? I had a good time with this movie Cedar Rapids. It's going to kind of fly in and out under the radar. Catch it if you can. I want to recommend to you the comedy Cedar Rapids starring the ever nerdy Ed Helms. like a seagull attacked it to a pile of rotting french fries. <laughs> like an insurance salesman drawn to the next sucker. <laughs> like your mother-in-law is attracted to bacon. Like your mother-in-law would be attracted to a pool of lard. Oh, maybe we shouldn't use that one. Uh... <laughs>